Look at him fucking say something at Bell End. What drink are you wanting? Uh, latte, coffee, please. Latte, sorry, anything else? Oh, that's it, thanks. First thing up here with your hand, love it. No, right, no worries. You can tell you're in Yorkshire when even the McDonald's staff call you love. Hey up love, what do you want love? <laughs> Fast food? Hey, can I give you that old one? Cheers, Ta. Any sugar or sweetener? No thanks. I'm sweet enough. <laughs> This is where the term fast food now is really gonna. Let's see, let's see. Can you pack it bay, bay one, love, while we bring it out to you? No way, can't be that quick. It's like countdown. Boom. Cheers, thanks, Dad. Not that bad, not that bad. I can I can see now the viewership of the subscribers base going up hugely. Oh my god, you've got to see this video, this airsoft are here, this airsoft channel. He's doing bloody McDonald's drive-through videos, it's amazing. <laughs> let's drive and let's fucking eat. So this is what I'm actually going to be doing today. I'm looking to get some memory cards for these or SD micro cards for these because these are the two cameras I bought recently to try and improve the actual footage when I'm out playing Airsoft. One's a 4K action camera with a nice screen on the back of it and the other one is a Runcam 2. So let's get out and get some of those and we can test the cameras then. And I'm also going to be getting a new mouse. Yes, amazing Airsoft videos here. Let's get in the car and go get ourselves a new mouse. Now I've got an airsoft delivery coming today and as of all things, you know, I know and everybody else knows that as soon as I leave the house to go get something else, post is going to come and I'm going to miss mid delivery but that's how it works. So anyway, let's get down into, excuse me over here, let's get down into Bradford, get the stuff that I need, get these memory cards and I'll see if PC World will actually let me sneak in my GoPro and have a little sniff around. Chances are security will be all over us, but hey ho, let's get going. Okay, so I got the sand disc for the GoPro. But what I'm actually looking for now is I'm looking for some rubber matting that I can put along you know, like a desk or a, a toolbox sort of thing so that I can get the airsoft weapons out and actually put them on the box without it actually scratching. Now there's all these stuff in here like these rubber, well, they're not even rubber, it's this sort of stuff, yeah. This is, you know, these sort of things. Carpet tiles, which is a bit naff because I actually wanted the rubber stuff that's on the other side. So what I did think about was some underlay, which is this sort of stuff. Maybe I could possibly use some of that instead. But who knows? But you know what I mean. I'm looking for that sort of rubber, a roll of rubber that will go across the... And actually, I've just seen something that might actually work. See those over there? Now I've already got some of these that you've seen on some of the videos and they're only £4.67 so, and there's four pieces in there Now I would have preferred them if they were black to be honest but for that price it's not really that bad is it? Get a load of them, put them on the floor, job's done and put them on a worktop Not going to scratch your ass off weapons then, I might actually get some Well I'm going to add a look around I think these might be a lot more suitable. It's like a rubber, rubber sort of matting, and these are only two pound fifty each. So I'll get a couple of them, and if they're not good, they're not good. This certainly should help with stopping airsoft weapons getting scratched when I'm actually adjusting them. So stage two of today, we're going to go get a mouse now. What the bloody hell has that got to do with airsoft? I hear you saying already. Clicking the close video. I think I'm going to go for that one. Right, well I've been looking up and down at all these mouses down here and eventually come back down to the gaming section which, you know, sometimes I use the PC for gaming as well so I've been looking at this one here this Corsair gaming mouse as you can see they've got absolutely loads here if I can get the camera right they've got absolutely loads here and 
I know I wanted quite a small mouse and the only downside to this is, is you can't actually take this out and have a look at it but I'm just gonna have to take the risk of it well, mind you filming but yeah. you've got to ask permission first because there'll be customers who don't want to be oh I'm not filming any customers it's just I'm doing a blog on technology we so get it all just, the time right we get all the time and I say don't mind it at all but just right. let us know so if a customer complains we know about it I'm only filming for about another 20 seconds. I'm literally just filming the mice while I'm talking about and getting right. a new mouse. No, that's no it. problem at all, but let's say someone comes past and we've had situations where they've gone and then the person's trying to explain to them. Well, I, I know. And they go, oh, I don't want to be on the internet and then we end up in a drama. Uh, well, no, I totally understand that because I'm actually a filmmaker by trade. So okay. when, when usually, um, if other people are going to be on camera, I usually mm. get a license form in front of filming, but it is literally just... No problem. I, saw what, I know but, what you were doing. But, I, can, yeah. I can see you talking as well. <laughs> but it's like, just let us know so we can diffuse Yeah, no worries. Else. No worries. All right. All right, take two. <laughs> do that again. Right, let's do that again. Right. So this is the mouse I've been looking at. As you can see, they've got absolutely loads in here of different mice. And the only problem with this is that I can't actually take it out of the packet to actually have a look at it. So do I take the risk? Probably, because there are some times when I play it with the extra side button is going to come in really handy, so this is probably going to be the one I'm going to look at. And this is 44 notes, reduced from 54, so this is the one that I'm probably going to go for. And, um, yeah, let's take it from there and see how we get on. Right, so got it. Do you know what pisses me the fuck off? These people behind the counter, I think you know what sort of person I mean. Yeah, they've got no fucking manners. No please, no thank you, no nothing. That customer service, unbelievable. And I'll tell you another thing that fucks me off as well. I'm a customer, yeah? I don't care what fucking religion you are, fuck off. Show some fucking respect looking at it, snarling your nose up. Look, I didn't fucking say some at Bell End. You know exactly what sort of person I'm talking about as well. I mean, Bradford, say no more. Fucking wankers. Ran over. Cunts. What really shocked me about Airsoft was the amount of kit that you actually need, or okay, should I say, the kit that you actually want. And every time you go to an Airsoft game and you look up the kit that everybody else has got, you it's like, oh, I like the look of that. Where do you get that? Where do you get that um, medical pouch from? Where did you get that attachment on your on your rifle? Where did you get this? Where did you get... I tell you. And the thing is, is that every time you go into an Airsoft shop now... Ooh, cheeky. Every time... <laughs> she was quite cheeky. Every time you go into an Airsoft shop now, it's... It's like Aladdin's cave, you've just got to be tempted. I keep joking about every time I go down to patrol base. I've got to stop taking my bloody cash card with me because every time you go in, there's just something that you end up buying that you don't need really, but you just really want it. So today I was actually going to go in and get the looked at, get an upgrade and do a video blog on it. And also take in the M4, which needs a new MOSFET. And I want to get a rewire and a few little bits done on it. Um, turns out the guys are busy and they can't actually fit it in today which is probably a good thing because as you've probably seen on some of my other videos I have recently bought a house and I need to be uh, I need to be cracking on with this house now and getting it finished rather than spending the money that I have got on more bloody airsoft stuff